view this this setback portion of this this uh, draft and in thinking about this I, I think it comes down for me that I think one of the best things that you can do is to have distance between you and a, and a, a wind tower and my myself I've tried I've tried to rationalize what is that protection? Now what we have on the screen is five and a quarter times distance. <clears throat> well, are you tugging that balance in favor of you know great setbacks? And in doing so, are you putting a burden of somebody not being able to do what they want with their property? in jeopardy of, of having wind turbines or a wind turbine on their property. And can we do this safely for the good of all, for the health, safety, and the welfare of the people of Rigo? And in researching this, I think that there needs to be some kind of uh, giving on, on that. I, I feel that's too, too great a distance, and I'd like to see that reduced. So, because of your brother in law? No. That's already been voted on twice. Yeah, it's already been voted on twice, but gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I want to take and be perfectly clear here tonight. You have entrusted us to do due diligence and research and do everything to the health, safety, and welfare of the citizens of Riga. At some point, it was going to come down, we have to make a decision. Whether you like it or not, you know, we have to do something. I just feel personally that this is, this is that we can accomplish, have a safety factor, and be able to live with these. I'm not saying that it's good, bad, or indifferent. I'm just saying that I, I feel that there's a, a safety factor, and it's my, you know, it's my perception of what's what's safe, and I feel that I can live with something less than five and a quarter times the height. With that, with well, I, I'm, I like to see it go down to three and a half. Jeez. So that's, I, I make a motion that we take it to three and a half. That's now, a let it ride. If I can get support, that's fine. If not, the commission can, cannot. So. What about someplace in between? <laughs> well, okay. I think it is in between. I would, oh. I'd uh, accept your motion. Why don't we just give, let them come up here and make what they want? Yeah. They're doing it for us. Yeah. 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 Okay. Then, Paul, you know, this This is a, a if, let's bring it to a vote. You, you already vote? You already got two yes guys on there to keep second one on the motion. What are you going to do about it? Oh. Don't you see what you're doing? The good of the community. <laughs> so obvious to them, people. But if people are said and gone, you're going to still be living there. And you already told me you don't care because you got, you're going to have none behind your place. Because that ground is at least. Didn't you tell me that? Not yet. Not yet. What the hell is it? Don't yeah. lie without me. Oh. All right. Yeah. We have a motion on the floor. Yeah, there's a motion on the floor. Sorry. Yeah. Is there any, any more discussion? Yeah. good. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey. 
with more discussion. I, I think um, 3.5 is a little person I do too. Okay. You had to start someplace. That's right. <laughs> um, do you have a thought, Gary? I myself personally, I go back to the concept that uh, you deprive somebody of his freedom, and in the same sense, you sacrifice your own freedom in the, in the same sense. And I, I feel like with Reg that these people have a right to, I have a right to develop my ground as long as it doesn't interfere with my neighbor. Okay. So and I figure at 1,750 feet, that'll, be, that'll give him enough distance away from me. Bullshit. You want to, you want to, we can amend the motion. That's that's what we're here for discussion. I want to hear it now. We might as well get it out in the open. Four times be more than enough. Okay, I'll go with four times. You, you want to amend? I can't amend. I didn't make a motion. <laughs> no, but I mean, you, you can second his. I would support four. I would support three. Yeah. You're making a motion for four. I do. Do you revise your motion? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I can. Well, no, we need to vote on if it's if it's an amendment, then we get a vote on the amendment. Well, yeah, we're voting on the amendment. Right. Right. Oh. Unless you want to amend the motion. And second the amendment. Okay. So if you amend your motion. I amend my motion before. We can go along with you. That's the vote. Well, vote on the existing motion. Yeah. Bring it in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if it was amended the first time, it wasn't amended. No, it wasn't yeah. amended. It was no. the second. Vote on, vote on the existing motion. The first and second ones for the change. So it's the original motion system. Of three and a half. So you want to hold on? Sure. Question. No, I, well, just make sure that we're, that we all understand what we're voting on. We're voting on three and a half. the three and a half. Okay. Do so. No. Mr. Gillen. No. Mr. Castle. Yes. Mr. Bowman. No. Mr. Card. Well, yes, but I made the motion. So no. Okay. Not approved. Not. The motion failed. Now, would you entertain a motion for four? Yes. I'll second that. Is there any discussion on changing it to four? If not, we'll proceed to vote. Are you? You're not ready. Or are you ready? Almost. Okay. Mr. Gillen, yes. Mr. Castle? No. Mr. Bowman? Yes. Mr. Dussel? Yes. Mr. Carr? Yes. Okay. Okay, we'll make that, that change to four. Okay, are we to number three there?
Uh, shadow flicker, um, this one, um, I, at the last meeting, it was my understanding that the planning commission uh, allowed up to 30 hours of the shadow flicker. Uh, I've written it so that it uh, does not allow in excess of 30 hours measured on a continuous 365 day basis. Um, and rather than making it mandatory um, that uh, equipment and software may be necessary and shall be installed and maintained by the owner and or operator to abate any shadow flicker in excess of the 30 hours permitted by this subsection. Still say 30 hours excessive, but I have voted down last time. So. Okay, does anybody have a problem with that? The added continuous 360 day basis? Who's going to measure that? Well, it's like anything else. Um, if you get complaints, um, then you have to investigate them. Well, from what I heard, but in my knowledge, the same people would investigate whether or not. It occurred in the first instance um, if you had a zero standard, I suppose. Okay, uh, you, you, who, whoever measures it, say the, the homeowner or whoever, they have 30 hours. Now they come to the township, they say, hey, we got 30 hours. Now they got to hire somebody to go out there and check it. And maybe by that time, they only come up with 20. But I think they're already 31 by. I, I wouldn't even do about that. Well, I think a lot of the um, issues related to this will be done as part of the site plan review and modeling. So that you'll have a pretty good indication, we think, of uh, how uh, shadow flicker will be analyzed. You know but it's like anything else in this ordinance. Um, you have to enforce it. So you said but mitigated before, if you kept say if you kept track of it, it was 30 hours or 31. And then you said you would hire somebody out of And if you're wrong, you've got to pay for it. So if only comes up for 20 hours, now you got to, as a homeowner, you have to pay for that. No, actually, the township. Or the township would. Yep. And they could have been right all along. It might have been 50 hours. The time they measured the 20, it was 30 already went by. That's, I suppose, possible. This is why you look that way when I put that code on there. Well, you wouldn't have to put out all of it. Just how would you know whether or not they were using it? What's that? The control. Yeah, if the was coming, you know what? Well, except that this is 30 hours, which is what the planning is. Theoretically, there's nothing to stop. Well, no. I, there are provisions in here to address it. But with any ordinance, you have to enforce it. But look, there's a, there's a state statute against speeding. Does everybody comply? No. If they don't, they get caught and they get fined. That's how it works. I can't address a situation in which you adopt a provision that you then fail to uh, enforce.